Hi, I'm Jimmy Bore. I'm from Safar, and you're watching Illumination TV. Since I was a kid, I used to sing songs, and I was always fond of music. I in school I used to still write stuff, I used to make melodies, just just like that, you know, there was nothing really concrete about like having a vision or something. I would just just make music. And later on I met people and it started rolling. I got like, you know, really uh, friends with good musicians, got into bands and then I realized okay that music is a good direction for my life and it keeps me happy. I used to always sing, so I didn't really choose from a music instrument or a voice. I just used to sing, so I kept singing. Well, to be honest, there was no particular moment where I, that really changed my perspective about such a big journey. Well, that was one of the happiest moments of my life, to be honest. Like when I saw a music video on TV and my neighbors and my mom, all of them were so happy and they were really talking about my music other, as opposed to the other artists, you know, like the famous ones. And that made me really, really, really happy. Generally, when we we record or we have a tour lined up, like gigs lined up, then I practice like for at least 45 minutes to an hour. And sometimes it just depends if the pressure is high, then I practice more. Corey Taylor from Slipknot is. Max Cavalera from Sepultura, there's Mikhail Lakefeld from Opet, and there's Phil Anselmo from Pantera, and above all, there's Mohamed Rafi, he's my god, he's few people. It was a song that my dad had. It's called Tum Nahi Aate Toh Kya Hota. So I learned that to perform in school. Well, that's quite easy to be honest. It was metal. So when I started listening to metal, and it it started growing on me, and I got obsessed with it. I used to like, I've never done that with any other uh, style of music, but I, with metal, I started gathering a lot of stuff, like talking to my friends, going and buying cassettes, and I don't know, I somehow connected with that music on a really, really deeper level that I went crazy after it. Not professionally though, not professionally, but my dad, he also used to sing a lot, he used to write songs, yeah, but, but that's about it pretty much. I have like a list of songs, like, you know, when I heard that song, I'm like, oh yes, like, you know, hit the spot, right, makes you think, okay, like, you know, Come on, let's, let's write some songs. So no particular song. Eight to nine years, almost a decade.
I joined Safar, so it was already existing the name. So I was not a part of the thinking process on why Safar. But I really like the name Safar because it it means journey. So I think just one word suffices, right? Journey. give away a piece of us to the person who's listening to this song, particular song or who's watching this perform. It's like we are giving them a piece of us. Sometimes I write the words first, sometimes I don't write the words first, like you know, I make a melody just, just like that while I'm traveling or something. I think of a melody and then I record it in my phone and I get back home and I put some chords to it and then I start arranging and lyrics come later. It's not that easy to put out your original music. So, for us, it's like what the way I look at it, music is a very integral part of me. I need it so that I keep moving in life. So it keeps me sane, it keeps me focused on all the other things that I do. Mm, it's like, who do you love, your mom or your dad? <laughs> A lot of things, to be honest. Uh, it just depends at the mo uh, at that particular moment. So, before I go on stage, I I get lost in the days, and I just keep I I I, I can't really explain this in words, but I pretty much get lost. And if you if you ever seen me like before a show, I might be talking, but like some five minutes before a show. You might see me, we'll have an eye contact, but I'll probably, I'll be seeing through you. I won't see you there. It was uh, in school. So I did that, I sang my dad's song. It was like a, a singing competition and I, I was a shy boy at that time and I didn't really want to do it, but I was pushed into it. Nothing. The best experience I've had, like when we perform live, that conviction we get in Bombay. The worst experience I've had at a gig is when you're performing a song and they cut your sound sound in the middle of it. I think that is the worst experience any live performer can, performer can have, right? The party la 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 was one of the best gigs we played at, yeah. So, and because uh, the emotions were different because uh, the guys, they made this happen themselves, so. The emotions were too high, too much. It was of some sentimental. Well, every show is of some sentimental value to it, but to us. But this had more because it was the baby of Black and Zignama and Koshish, and so one of the best gigs I played. Uh, also, like I, we had a great time at Wacken Open Air, Germany. That was one of the best gigs we played. The only thing that bothers me is having a a throat infection before a show. <laughs> That's it. Okay, in India, 
is to make a living out of it. That's the hardest challenge. Living out of making your own music, selling it and performing it. Like. The way I look at it, you set a goal. You get there, you're successful. It also depends on your happiness meter, how happy you are. So, <laughs> nothing to do about money. I'm not like, I'm not a successful musician, but I'm a very happy musician. So, it's good enough, I'm, I'm sorted. <laughs> I think one of our greatest musical achievements was to get a gig at Bakken Open Air and represent India in front of thousands and thousands of people. So that was one of one of the greatest achievements, I guess. Yeah. I want to write more music. I'll. I'm. I'm quite certain that I will do it till the end of my life and I'll keep performing. That is all I need to do as reach my music, our music, our emotions out to people, as many people as possible and as much as possible. It's not easy. It's very, very, very difficult. But if you want to go for it, you have to go for it and you should go for it because the rewards are incomparable. You cannot really put such a feeling in words. So if you want to go for it, fight, glide against the waves, run and go for it. That's all I can say. <laughs>